Hey everybody, I'm Joshua Shapiro, the Crystal Skull Explorer. It's an honor and privilege to be here. We're recording this near the Atlanta area. And you know, it's kind of funny. I moved here thinking from Chicago that I would get away from all the cold and the snow. And if you could see what's going out on outside here today on January 9th, you'd see we have snow and cold. So I guess it was a trick by the universe. Anyway, the main reason that I'm here is uh, besides to tell you a good Jewish joke in a little, little bit, is Katrina and I have been talking about to try to find a way to uh, provide for people, you know, their own crystal skull, affordable crystal skull. And we tried an experiment when we went to Peru this past November. And of course, by the way, our next trip is coming in May if you might like to join us. And we got for our passengers these really tiny little skulls. Now, some of you who are viewing this video, you may be going directly to YouTube and not see the web page where you have the pictures and everything. So if you look at the end of this video, there will be information how you can find the page that gives you some more information. So let me show you an example of one of the skulls that we did. Because our idea was, if you see the collection of crystal skulls we had here, we didn't have any clear quartz in what we call our crystal kids. We call them crystal kids because they're growing and learning just like regular kids do. And for those of you who have not had the special opportunity to be a crystal skull caretaker, you know, what happens is they start talking to you. So anyway, I want to show you this one because this would be an example of the type of skull that we can provide for people. Is when the 20 or so skulls arrived that we ordered for our group to go to Peru, and I was kind of gazing at them and to see, you know, which one maybe might be the one that wants to work with me. This was the guy that was kind of calling to me. And he starts talking to me and he says, all right, I'd like to go with you, but you are forbidden. And I'm not kidding you. He really said this. You are absolutely forbidden to touch me or do anything until you're actually in Peru. And that's when you should start to work with me. Now, one of the things that we did in Peru, which is very important, is we charged these crystal skulls with the energy of every place we went. We went into Cusco and the temples by Cusco. We went to Machu Picchu, um, went all over the site of Machu Picchu. He was also blessed by an indigenous shaman called a Carol. And also, of course, we went to Lake Titicaca. And really, in Lake Titicaca is when this guy started to shine. But the thing about it is, is the size because you might say, well, it's only a little one, you know, it can't be that powerful. I have to tell you that size means nothing. And the reason that we got the small size is so that it would be very easy for the people to carry them. I mean, you can see right here, it just fits right in the palm of your hand. So anyway, each of the crystal skulls, after they come to you, they'll decide, okay, you want to have a name? And this one said, I wish to be called Altawapa, which is the name of the last Inca emperor. So in any case, we have a special contact with my friend in Brazil who's in touch with carvers there. And we are making available for people now these tiny little skulls at a very affordable price. But the other key is, and this is also very important too, is to get this crystal skull started, we're going to put them with the crystal kits. These crystal skulls have traveled all over the world. They've been to different sacred places. And what crystal skulls do is they pick up the frequencies and the energies that are around them. But some of the skulls have been handled by thousands of people. And the other thing, of course, is we've also met some of their, what I call the older brothers and sisters, or the ancient skulls. So this is what we have available for you if you would be interested. And just try to give you a chance to meet myself and get to know who we are to see who is providing the skulls. So basically, if you go to the webpage that's listed at the end of this video, it will have a lot more details about how you can order, some other information about the skulls. But before I finish, I have to tell you a joke. This works pretty well in my presentation, so I thought I would add it to my video. By the way, this is the first time we've ever done a video like this, so hopefully you enjoy it. Okay, so let's see, which one should I tell you? So anyway, there's this couple, Marvin and... Uh, and Sheila, and they just got married, and they come back, and then Sheila calls up her mother, and of course, if you know Jewish mothers, they want to know everything, what happened. 
So she goes, darling, darling, how was the honeymoon? How did it go? She went, mom, or mama, I think is how they say it. It was wonderful. It was romantic. We had such a wonderful time. It was marvelous. But mama, you have to come and take me home. What? If your honeymoon was so wonderful, what are you asking me to come pick you up and take you home for? Mama, you're not going to believe this, but I forgot the name I gave to the guy. I think it was Marvin or something. Let's say it's Marvin. Marvin, my husband, he's saying these four-letter words to me, these terrible four-letter words to me. I can't stand it. You have to come pick me up and take me home. I don't want to be here anymore. And then her mother says, but darling, what, what kind of four-letter words could Marvin be saying to you that are so terrible? I don't want to talk about it, Mom. Just please, just come get me. I, it's too, too terrible. Just take me home. I just want to go home. And her mother goes, really, come on, darling. I'm your mother. You can talk to me. Just tell me. What kind of words is he saying that are so terrible? He's saying words like iron, cook, dust. So, ladies and gentlemen, it was wonderful to meet you through this video, and if there's any way that we can assist you to get your own little crystal skull, please feel free to visit us at the webpage that either you're reading or is listed here on YouTube. And also, if you're curious about Peru, feel free to send us an email. Thank you very much. Have a great day. And please, will you get warmer? I don't want to see any more snow.